I'm looking for hard stuck plat through champ ranked Rocket League players who want to get GC or SSL in the next six weeks. If that's you, DM me with the keyword stuck to talk details about my private coaching program. Link below. The secret to outplaying ball chasers. Every time I post a short on YouTube telling people to play slow or control the ball, I always get the comments saying, yeah, but this doesn't work against ball chasers. But I disagree. Today, I'm gonna show you play by play how you can recognize when you have time and how to actually use space the right way to outplay people at your rank. Yes, I promise this works against ball chasers. This is episode 18 of The Road to SSL. All right, we've got Bleamy. I don't know who this guy is. Against Mist and Schnoodle. All right, let's cheat up as always. Ball's gonna come middle. It's gonna be closer to him, but I might be able to get a cut in. Can't quite. Just gonna get a drive challenge. My teammate should have this. Totally fine. So I'm gonna take corner boost. Whoops. <laughs> and come back mid. We got corner boost. Ball's gonna get cleared here. I'm just gonna play it high and awkward, and then just keep driving through and look for demos as I go. Somehow I didn't get a demo on that guy. That's fine. Just keep rotating through the play. Don't panic. Here I got a kind of watch shot. Careful of flick. And just stay center to maybe be able to get a save. Luckily you get a pre-jump. So we're gonna get a save and my teammate should have this. He has a better angle, so I'm gonna let him go. They've got no angle, so I'm gonna keep letting my teammate hit it forward. He gets a couple nice touches, can play it by one guy. And this guy's gonna try to control it on his goal line, which is always suspicious. Gonna be able to get him to flick it over to my teammate. Now we have a 2v1, so I'm gonna turn up and play. Even though I have low boost, we have a 2v1, so I'm gonna try to pass here. Can't quite get it. Almost leads to a goal. This guy's going to clear it to the side. And I'm just going to shadow him by time for my teammate to get back for a sec. Let him get back. Keep letting him get back. Uh, unfortunately, I did take his boost. So now I'm going to want a 50. He's going for the ball. So I'll get a beat on one. Now I'm going to control and maybe get a flick. Fail flick, unfortunately. So we're going to have to rotate back. Get behind the teammate. A boom may be coming. So I'm going to play corner boost here. Teammate gets a nice touch. Uh, they're going to play it at side. This is going to bounce high. So I'll just let him go. He doesn't really have a, a good angle here. Uh, teammate gets a nice clear. This guy might hit it high off the wall. He does. So I'm going to try to get in the way. My teammate should have. We're completely fine. Going to play black post. Playing a little slow. So I'm going to try to ramp up the pace a little bit. Um, he's going to get a soft touch. I'm going to pre just to get in the way. And just make sure I stop any angle on that. Now I'm going to try to watch center, watching his touch. Teammate gets a nice clear. I can move up. My teammate should have this boost, so I'm just going to wait. Let him go. I'd rather be the guy playing second, man. I want him to go. He gets a decent 50. I'm just going to grab boost so they don't get. And now if he centers me, we should get a goal. Unfortunately, he doesn't. Maybe pass back to the teammate. Teammate gets a good 50. He's going to stay on the ball. I'll wait back center as much as I can. Can't quite go for this. Um, I want to, but... There's not a good opportunity, so I think it's just best to wait here and, and buy time. Let my teammate rotate out when he wants to. Let them clear it. That's fine. Let my teammate get corner boost if he wants it. Uh, I wanted to hit that ball uh, lower, but it's going to be okay. going to let my teammate go now and just get behind him. Make it clear I'm leaving the play. My teammate doesn't get a 50. I can hit it around one. Maybe hit it by. Not quite, so I'm just going to rotate back. Stay behind teammate. Not really creating any offensive stuff this game, but playing very safe. I'm going to drive challenge here and just try to force a flick. See, I'm not trying to commit at the midfield here because the midfield is not a good not a good place to get caught out. Teammate is going to unfortunately hit ball away. It's not the best touch. I'm just going to get a try to get a 50. Teammate's going to clear it to the side, so we're going to have half of a second to grab some, court, some boost and get back to the uh, back post. Now we're just going to play back post. Luckily, they're going to play it wide. Going to be able to grab corner boost, and now we can chill and just buy time. Keep it in the corner as best as possible. And eventually, we should be able to get off of offense here. I can cut one way. I'll almost get it back the other. No boost. I'm just going to rotate out here and let my teammate go when he wants. Just get behind him. This ball is going to go to the corner. Unfortunately, I make a missed touch there. But we should be okay. Oh, my. What's going on? All right. We're just going to drive through this play. Get a bump on one. That might give the ball to my teammate. Might be able to get a demo on that guy. Can't quite. So I'm just going to keep rotating back. And we almost have a free goal here. Oh, lag spike. Great timing. Teammate's going to grab that boost. So I'm going to get the boost behind him and go all the way back. This ball should come high to the center. He is missing. So we can go for a shot back post. And this probably was a bad play for me to go for a shot. I should have 
probably got a soft touch and then shot, but we're just close enough that I'm almost certain that anybody at GC1 is always gonna push, uh, always gonna push past that, uh, <laughs> back post. Nobody's gonna sit back post in GC1, so, so as long as I snipe it, it's very hard to save. I'm gonna flip forward, because he's missing. I can just get a high pass. Almost leads to a goal. Now I need to get by, behind my teammate as quick as possible. Uh, unfortunately, don't get that boost, but I'm going to get corner. He looks like he's going. He's going to get a tip. I got to watch shot here. Just play this to the corner. My teammate will play it to the corner for me. That's fine. So I'm going to wrap back around. Wait. Fortunately, he booms ball away, so I'm just going to have to kind of wait here. He gets a nice flick, uh, but not quite. So now we're just buying time for my teammate. Just trying to control the ball soft into the corner. So that way it's nice and easy. They have no offensive opportunity here. As long as it's a dead ball in the corner, they're not really going to produce anything on blue team. And that'll allow us to break away. Teammate will go for. Might get demoed, so I'm just going to wait behind him. Control boosts. And, whoa, ceiling pinch almost. Unfortunately, I pinched that ball back, but it's actually going to go to the corner, so we should be totally fine. And that'll be game. 1-0. A little bit of a slow one. Honestly... I should have played better on offense that game, but hopefully that was a good example of like playing patient and just how playing your corners and being very, very patient in the corners can just lead to goals. And we were never really in a scary spot that game. We had we had pressure the entire time. So even though it's 1-0, we could have won that game 3-0 if we just convert more on offense. So that, that's kind of how you want to play. All right. We're playing against Vertigo and TayQ. We're going to speed flip. Get a decent kickoff. Teammate should have this ball. Half boost is still there, but unfortunately they take it. So I'm going to have to go for this half boost. This ball should bounce back to me. My teammate doesn't want to leave, which is fine. I uh, I don't know if he's going. That's my bad. I I, I should have I should have gone quicker. I didn't know if he was going or not. Hopefully my teammate turns now because I have no boost, so I want to get back. My teammate should challenge this. He's gonna keep it in the corner. Great play. He's gonna stay on it, so I'm gonna wait behind him for just a sec. We do have a two v one for a second. My teammate might get cut off. Oh my! Immaculate play from Wes. Guys, notice how the higher rank we get the less aerial plays people go for. Like, seriously, the better you get at the game, the more you realize all you have to do is bounce dribble to win. And we're still not hitting kickoffs consistently in GC1. I'm gonna try to pass the ball there. Uh, pretend I hit the ball. And now I'm just gonna rotate back. Nobody saw anything. Play center, look for a pass for my teammate. They're gonna get a boom. It looks like he's got a touch there. So I'm just gonna chill. Go back, get boost, watch shot. Um... Just ignore everything that's happened so far. I'm I'm hitting the ball consistently. I know what I'm doing. You're watching me because I'm good at the game. We're going to rotate back. Uh, so here, I want to delay time for my teammate, but they both challenged the ball. So um, I didn't mean to hit that. I'm, I'll, I'll calm my bad. Let him know. And just chill back for a sec. Looks like he's going to clear this ball off to the side. This should come back center. I'm going to try to keep it in. Keep driving through. Maybe get a demo. Can't quite get it. Unfortunately, teammate gets beat. And I left him back, so that's my bad. I We regain. I've been playing bad this game. All right. Going to go for a speed flip. These guys' kickoffs are yikes. Going to gonna play quick on this ball just because we have a, have a slight advantage from the kickoff. My teammate's going to keep the ball up. I'm going to try to maintain pressure here. I want to let this ball roll to the side and then maybe go. Unfortunately, we're getting bumped all over, so just going to get back. Play this high and awkward. Allow my teammate a chance to go back. And they might have a shot here. So I got to watch demo. Just got to be patient and hope he doesn't demo me. And the plan worked. Now we're going to play the ball quickly forward. Use both neutral jumps to recover and maybe go for a shot. Can't quite get it. So going to keep rotating around. I don't know what my teammate is doing. That's all right. You just got a little boost greedy. We're fine. We're fine. I'll cheat up. Ball's going to come high. I'm just, uh, there's no threat for a second, so I have time to grab corner boost. Um, and then I'm just slow. My decision making was great there. My mechanics, not so much. We regain. We're just trying to make the, we're just trying to make the games a little harder, chat. That's, that's literally it. All right. He'll play there. I'm going to wait center and maybe we get a pass. Not quite able to get one yet. So just going to keep waiting center. This guy might pass it to me. Get a 50 on him. Teammate should have. I'm going to play half boost. He's going to play to the corner. I'm going to watch in case he gets dunked. Nice. He gets a beat on one. But now it looks like he's off the ball. Still going. All right. We're going to let him go. We'll get one touch up. That guy misses. 
I'm in a terrible position, so we can't get a follow-up. Just ignore this game chat. Don't do any... So do exactly the opposite of what I'm doing here. I'm playing so far up that I can't score the open net when my teammate passes it to me. That is so bad for me. That is so atrocious. But it, it works somehow. That is so bad. All right. He's going to get a touch off the kickoff. As long as I play this boost here, might be able to get a shot. Not quite. They're just playing boost. Everybody in this lobby is just going for big boost. Nobody's playing the ball. All right. I'll play the ball. Unfortunately, get a demo, but we kind of get spun out. So we're going to have to rotate back post now. Just watch angle. Perfect Zard ass is this plat. I love it. We're winning this game. Teammate goes for a nice shot. He probably thought that was an amazing shot. He should have controlled the ball. I'm going to pass her. Okay. I don't know where he's going. <laughs> he's tilting. <laughs> oh my. We're in GC, folks. Gonna control this. Play it off to the side. Maybe get a beat on one. <laughs> oh my, what is going on? This is such a bad air dribble from me. I get a decent 50. I have no angle to score there, but my teammate luckily scores. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're fine. All right. Going to play it in the corner. Nice little boost. My teammate's going to ball chase because he's a little upset. He actually gets a great touch there. I might be able to slot it. Not quite. That'll be fine, though. We'll just rotate back here. He's going to get a touch out. I'm just going to play it around one. My teammate says okay because he's. I think he's tilted. I'll let him go for the ball. Let him control. Play wide here. Nice beat on one. I missed the open. He's going to be so mad. Oh, no. Oh, he, he misses. Wait, he's demoing. Teammate should have that. He just passes it right to him. Now he's going to say take the shot and say it's my fault. Just wait. Don't cheat up. Oh, he gave up. Unfortunate. I played terribly that game. But hopefully that was comedic, at least. Delaney says, too much Dota. The mechs are rusty. That's absolutely true. All right, we got Bungalow. On to game three. Oh my gosh. At what rank do people have good kickoffs, finally? It's incredible. We're in GC1 and these guys can't get a consistent kickoff. Get a fake challenge just because they're scared of shot. Continue to fake challenge because they have no angles here. And now we have a 2v1 for a second. So I want to play the ball up the field quick. Not able to quite get it, so going to keep rotating through. Grab boost. I'm going to watch the guy in the midfield here. Get a demo on the guy in the midfield, and that'll lead to a free goal. So once I realize my teammate is in a, in a 1v1, you know, it's not great for my teammate to be in a 1v1. But once he is in a 1v1, that's the point where I'm like, okay, I guess I better just make the best of the situation. Go for demo. Leads to something good. All right, we'll cheat up here. This is going to come to the side. I'll have time for a play. I'm going to let it go off the wall. Unfortunately, we get a bad touch. We're going to have to play low. Can go high again. And he's catching it on the goal line. That is sus. He pinches it out, though. That's fine. I should have ball control here. Just going to try to get a 50. I thought he would go for the ball. Get a bump on him. That should be free again. Uh, I'm going to assume my teammate missing. That's fine. Not going to get that boost quick enough, so I'm actually happy to be demoed here. I'm back with boost. Sweet. Works for me. Uh, could have got a more powerful touch there. That's bad. Bad play by me. Uh, I should be able to grab this half boost and go for ball. He's pinching though, so I gotta be careful. He messes up the pinch, so now I can play back. That half boost took forever to spawn. And they're just... Where are they going? I don't know what, what they're doing. I, I think they thought they had a 2v1, so he's like going for a demo on me. But like, I'm shat... Like, this is why shadowing is so important. Like, if I was any far... If, if I was distanced further back, then I just get demoed and we get scored on. But if you're shadowing properly and you're close enough to the play and they go for a demo, you just challenge ball and then... I mean, if you win the challenge, it's free goal. I should have this boost. I had him beat the whole time. He's going to clear it to the side. I got to watch the interception from him. Got to be careful of a shot. Just going to try to get a good 50. Oh, I could I could have got a better 50 there. All right, I'll cheat up. Oh, wait. I don't know what's going on. 
Gonna have to get a 50 on that guy. Which we do. All right, we got a 1v1 for a sec. All right, sweet. Since that was a 1v1, I can't get yelled at for being too mechanical. We're fine, right? All right, we're cool. Nobody saw that. It's not too mechanical. I'm definitely gonna get a YouTube chat about how Luke is too mechanical and he just gets mechanical on GC1s and that's all he does. Hopefully not, we'll see. I'll rotate back post here. Ball's gonna come center. I can read off the wall and now I should have open. Is that too mechanical? It's just that like they're positioned really poorly as a second man. So he's just like, wh why are you committing for that ball? I don't know. I have no clue why their guy's going for that ball. Uh, he's going to go for a shot. I'll just play backboard. Nice. He hits it into the corner for no reason. So I can play it off wall, move it down the field quickly. That's a weird touch from him. Now I just got to get a demo and it should be open. Fortunately, teammate doesn't quite get it. I'm going to fake challenge here because he's got no threat. And now I just got to watch shot. Keep it in my corner. Nice and slow. They have no play here, so I can just continue to fake challenge. Just let him overcommit. We're totally fine. Now teammates got a 1v1, and that is almost a goal. I'm going to wait back here. Uh, that came right center, but no way for me to know that. He's going to hit it off the wall. He'll have time for an aerial. Got to watch reset. Uh, and he gets a nice shot. So my teammate did what he was supposed to do there. He tries to intercept him. So I kind of just have to wait, give my teammate a chance to intercept him. And we almost get the save regardless. I could have been a little bit deeper on my goal line if I would have if I would have waited half a second longer. I think we save that ball. I'm gonna grab half boost here and then I can turn. He just gives the ball away. I should have scored that. I should have been free. Might be able to get a demo there. Can't quite get it. Um. All right, we're just getting clipped on. Oh my, we're fine. Just gonna grab boost, bump him. All right, now we got a two v one, so I gotta move it up the field quick. I'm gonna try to get around this ball. Fake a cut. Fake a cut. Pass. Not quite. Just gonna jump and get into his way. Unfortunately, my teammate gives up ball, but we're just going to cut back in. We'll be all right. It's important to recognize when your teammate is weak. That way you can cut in. This ball will come center. I'll jump off sidewall here and just keep rotating through. Look for demo. Teammate gets a bad first touch, so we're going to have to get back. Grab this boost. He kind of wants his corner boost. No, he doesn't. All right. None of them are going. I have beat here, so I'm just going to hit it high and awkward. Keep the offense going for us. Um, I, sh I shouldn't have got demoed there. Oh my, they missed the open. He's going for shot. Yeah, gonna have to pre-flip a little bit to get that save. I think my teammate gave up. Did my teammate give up? I don't I don't know what's going on. Gonna get a good half flip chow. Just gonna play this high and awkward, buy us some time. I think my teammate disconnected. I don't know. We're going to have to play defense for a sec. He's going to take it high. Going to go high off the backboard so I don't get air dribble bumped. And I got to watch shot. I don't think he has an angle here. We're fine. Just got to watch shot. He hits it too high. I'm going to assume he doesn't have an angle. Grab corner boost. Keep watching the angle. Play it high. That's going to recenter. I got to watch shot again. Get a 50 to the corner. We're fine. Keep grabbing corner boost. Okay, now I'm going to have a second to push up here. Looks like he's cutting. Play it off to the side. Fake child. He's going to go for a shot now quick. Got to watch shot. Keep it in the corner. We're fine. Jump off wall. Keep low 50. We're fine. Oh, I'm low boost. I can't get there in time. I think we'll be okay, though. All right, we delayed long enough to win the game. We're fine. <laughs> We're fine. All right, that's defense simulator, folks. Not only do you have to save the shot, but you have to save it good enough so that way they can't recover and keep shooting on you. Like that's, that was a great training drill. All right, we're playing with Apollo against Actually Bad and Weary Whelp. Let's cheat up. Oh my, that's quite the kickoff. Okay, I'm just gonna hope this misses and hit it to the corner. And then they recenter to me. Unfortunately, I get a weak shot. We should have, I should have scored there. That was the yikes. I'm gonna go back for corner boost. Assume my teammate gets beat. I'm low boost, so it's interesting they're going for a demo here. That is so greedy. I'm going to have to grab boost and play back post. Ugh. So hard to know if the, when, when the shot is coming here. All right, I'll cheat up. I'm in go for kickoff. What am I saying? Fortunately, he's going to get ball right away, but luckily he booms it. Sweet. Unfortunately, my teammate booms it to the corner, so that's going to give them possession. 
Nice, he cuts the ball up the field. We might have a chance to go forward. We're gonna get one touch on the high bounce, so then we can air dribble this. Ah, went for the air dribble bump, didn't quite get it. I'm gonna have to get back as quick as possible. Unfortunately, get teammate gets bumped, but it can hit it off the back. I'm just gonna play it high and try to get it out for a sec. Now I got a watch shot here. Teammate gets a good save. Nice, this guy hits it to me in the corner. So we can just get a 50. He's gonna beat me here, so I'm not gonna waste any boost. This guy gets a double, so I'm gonna have to hit it off the backboard again, make sure they don't have an angle on the shot. My teammate's going backboard, so I'll play low. Um, quite the fake from the teammate, but it works. All right, we'll play mid. Uh, I can't go for this ball yet. Shouldn't be in. Just play the next touch. I'll come back center. And I think I missed that. <laughs> Ignore everything, chat. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just edit, edit it out, edit it out, edit it out. Nobody saw anything. Even at GC, you don't even have to be... It's just consistency. It's just scoring the opens. If I just score the opens, we just win the game. Like, you can have the best decision-making in the world, but if you can't score the open, you're not... It's gonna... It's gonna... Rocket League's gonna be hard. And look, we get a pity kickoff goal. All right. Fine. <laughs> Hit the ball into the corner. I'm actually gonna go for a bump here because this is so awkward for him. Almost. I'm gonna play this to the side. Just gonna hit it forward because we have no boost. Play back for boost. Let my teammate go. I can probably play this to the side and then turn on this ball. Hit it off the ceiling, maybe. Almost. That's a I, I like my car like didn't land on the ceiling properly, so I had like a weird takeoff. My teammate should have this. He's gonna get one soft. No, he hits it high off backboard, and everybody's missing. Actually, everybody's missing. I can play it around one guy. A teammate will get a 1v1, maybe. And that'll lead to a goal, finally. <laughs> but that's why it's important, like, when you're on offense, guys. It's not It's not about actually scoring the ball. It's about just playing it by the... Like, if they're early challenging and then they're leaving the goalie box, then you just need to play the ball around them. Right? If they're going to leave the goalie box. I'm just going to play this high and... Oh, there he goes. He's going to boom it too hard. I'm just going to grab half boost because my teammate's in a 1v1, whether or not I'm there. Uh, we should have a second here. Get a good 50. Oh, unfortunate. They're positioned really poorly here. Like, they're super overcommitted. And just because the ball comes right to the center and he get, like they get a goal, it, it, it's fine. That's going to happen sometimes, and I'm totally okay with it. Like, I'm, I'm going to keep playing exactly how we played there because more times than not, we're going to score on them on a breakaway rather than them getting some like cheese like that from just playing ultra aggro uh, unfortunately teammate boom so we're just going to control this down into the corner delay for a sec we should be all right get a good 50. this guy's going to play it hard off his corner so maybe get a center here unfortunately my teammate's not there i'm just going to look for a demo now in case he does try to cut get in the way unfortunately my teammate gets demoed so now i'm going to try to clear this ball quick just because I know my teammate is out for a sec. He doesn't get the best touch. Um, so I'm just going to rotate back. Going to watch shot. He doesn't have a good shot. Can play it over that guy. And my teammate might score this. Let's go. <laughs> See, notice how I said might score. I didn't say it was open. I said he might score. All right, we'll go for this ball. Pretty chill last game. Pretty fundamental. Gonna keep rotating through the play. Grab corner boost since this ball's on offense. We have time and space. I'll just wait behind my teammate. Gonna let my teammate go first. He gets dribbled over. Kind of got to watch redirect here. As long as I wait back and I don't, I don't let the ball go behind me on the back post, we'll be fine there. Teammate gets a nice early challenge and it might just lead to a goal. See, like this is what happens when you're when blue team plays super aggro on offense. Like they just end up giving. Getting, giving away free goals sometimes. Got to get this corner boost. Nice. And now we're fine. I uh, got to watch redirect. No, he can't rotate back quick enough because I got his corner. My teammate's going to unfortunately make a soft touch. I probably have a better angle there, but that's fine. Just going to shadow. Nice. He plays it into my corner. There's no threat here. And we should be fine. Bang. Almost. 
I'm gonna keep rotating through. He's gonna rotate back so I can get a bump on him. Probably really greedy to go for a bump there. I kind of rely on my teammate to beat him. That's a very aggro play. The higher rank you can get, the more you can afford to get away with some of the super aggro play. Um, he scored that. Skip, skip, skip. The more you can afford to get away with like the super aggro play, but when you're lower rank, you definitely need to play more cautious around your team. Exhibit A. We should be fine though. Okay, we're cool. We cool. We cool. We cool. <laughs> All right. That was episode 18, I think, of the Road to SSL. Chat, say, uh, say bye, YouTube. Tell them to go click on the next video. Tell them to go watch the next video. Tell them to go watch the next video. Say bye, YouTube. Click the next video. It's on the screen. It's either here or here. All right. On to the next episode.